Because when you 
able to accept that you are ready for that next level. You got to inhale and exhale and move forward. You don't have to know how to or why or what to do next, but just trust that it is presented. Just trust that if it is presented to you, you are able, you are able to find your way through. Think of all of these times in your life where you had to go do something through uncertainty or you just don't know. You don't have the exposure or the experience and you always work it out. And guess what? I feel like those experiences are the most rewarding when you go and do something that you have little background on and you show up and you just make shit happen. I think it's so beautiful and lovely how it just gives you that extra sense of confidence. Like you don't need to control everything. You don't need to know everything. You are allowed to have this abundant energy flowing in your life just because you're ready for it. And you had to have that opportunity to let things go. I talk about it all the time, being an emotional or an energetic order. An energetic order is someone who is not ready to let go of the things they need to let go to allow them to grow, but at the same time wants to manifest and bring things in. You cannot. Letting go sometimes feels uncomfortable. It feels strange. It feels like, ah, 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 but it's a part of the process. So just accept that it is a part of the process. Release it. Allow any, you know, emotions that form to be normal emotions. You know, you don't got to be happy all the time. You don't got to be motivated all the time. You don't have to act like you have it all together. Everybody's going through shit from time to time. So just allow your body to process things. Don't put no judgment on it and move on when you're ready so that you can receive this new life. Okay. So I just want to work with the energy here a bit. And I just want to open you up to receive what is for you. Sometimes when you don't know and blessings are coming into your life, it's even better because sometimes we wish for stupid shit. I'm so serious. <laughs> sometimes we wish for things that we think we need, but we really don't. But it's when we release and let the universe just send us something that is beautiful and for us, that it's really for us and we can accept it for what it is. And I want to give you this word of advice when it comes to manifesting, manifestation work, spell work, petition work, any of this stuff. You can influence the energy around you to bring to you what you want. You can. But sometimes you got to just let the universe source God or whatever it is you believe in. That's your business. Bring what is right for you. Because sometimes you want things, but from an unconscious standpoint, it's from a state of lack. So you end up getting what you want, right? You're like, oh yeah, I've mastered the universe. I can ma manipulate shit. And then you have to go through all of that pain and hurt by forcing things. Just let things unravel. I do collective readings. I do healing sessions. You know, I do all of these things. And when it comes to myself, I pace myself. I'll look at my natal chart, maybe like, you know, maybe once a year, once every couple months, if I'm really pressed, once a month or something like that, just because I'm curious. But I let things happen. When I pull cards for myself, once in a while, sometimes I, I just get like refocus to do it. And it's so funny because refocus is my sister. She, she'll be like, what does this mean to you? I said, girl, that's your job. For myself, if I needed to, you tell me. <laughs> but what I try to do is keep it open to the fact that I don't need to know what is going on every moment in the universe on my path. I just let it happen because I think I'm more receptive when I don't know everything. You know, I'm not gonna overthink the shit. And so I'm just giving a little bit of advice if I could that just release, let go, and go with the flow. So if you're ready for a new life, simply say you're ready for it and work from the highest in a life of peace, a life of calm, a life of happiness, a life of balance. You know, you can get into the details and the specifics, but sometimes I like to keep it open, you know, don't like a little surprise here or there, you know. 
almost like, no, this is not for me, you know? Sitting with this peace and this balance in your life. Now, feel free to use the comment section to describe what life it is that you're looking for, what energy you would like to move forward into in your new experience in this vibrational path, and just release, let it go, and accept it. It is when you're able to put it out there and let it go, not trying to control it or micromanage it, is when it's more likely to come back to you. And sometimes you might have to like distract yourself into something else interesting in order to just release it and let it go. That's why I keep hobbies. I keep this hobby. I keep that hobby. You know, it just keeps it going and keeps it flowing because you can set the intention of something that you want. But you have to be able to not suffocate it, you know? You want to hold it so tight that you're not letting the air get in. You're not letting the light. You're not letting any nutrients get into it. No, you want to say, this is what I want. Put it out in the universe. Let it flow away and trust that it'll come back to you. And if it doesn't, it'll always be something better that comes back. I mean, that's how, that's how the universe works. And it's really our perception of how we're perceiving what is coming back. Like, oh, I wanted a hamburger. But then you got a steak. Well, I wanted a hamburger. We really gonna, we're really gonna argue between a hamburger and a steak. And for those who are like, don't want that, you wanted, I don't know, like a piece of pie. And then you got like some really like decked out dessert or something. You got a, a crepe, a crepe cake. And you're like, you're really gonna argue between that. A pie and a crepe cake. Come on now. Come on now accept it don't lowball yourself don't minimize yourself and also take all of this pressure energetic stuff energetic baggage from yourself and from other people release it and let it go 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 and make no judgment just allow it to be Allow it to flow very freely. Allow it to be. Allow it to be. Allow it to be. Allow it to be. Allow it to be and flow so freely. You are deserving. And let's just make sure this energy is all right. Let's bring in that all the way. Bring it around down. Then you do this. Then you do than you do. <laughs> As you know, I'm bait in smiles. <laughs> with the internet. 
you are. And I think that self-acceptance is the most important thing thus far because without self-acceptance, how can we really connect with our energy and do the fantastic things that we're meant to do? We have to accept that we are the best individual with the best set of circumstances in order to do whatever it is that we're supposed to be doing in this moment and being able to relax, release, and let go is one of the most beautiful 
extra healing, um, something that has bothered you for a long time, something that feels like a kind of a weak spot, or a place that has caused you, like burdened you. So just kind of clearing that out because there is this fear that going into the future that it'll just keep popping up, but you know, it's just it just needs to be cleaned out. Like yes, the trash will stink if you keep it in the house, so take it outside, even though you put all the trash in the bin. <laughs> I'm known for my analogies. <laughs>
understand that it doesn't matter whatever you have ever gone through. The universe wants you to feel loved and supported and to be here for your purpose. But sometimes when you go through experiences, especially tough ones, when you're trying to reconcile why did this happen, sometimes people might think that they don't deserve a good experience. That's why it happened. Or even though they think, oh, I do deserve a good experience, they just feel like, oh, for some reason they don't feel like they deserve it. That is completely normal and completely okay. It happens. It's just the physical body trying to understand the bigger picture. The soul has learned from that. The soul learned whatever it needed to learn. But the physical body is not as expansive as the soul. The physical body is like, wait a minute. Yes or no? The soul lives on this whole like continuum of colors. And so being able to just work with the body to release any of that old baggage is very important for moving on. You can 100% release that. You can move that away from the body. You can send it on to its next evolutionary path. You don't have to keep it with you. But just because you feel something doesn't mean it has to be a permanent fixture in your life. You can let it go. I'm going to go back into the Reiki symbols.
serves your highest vibrational good, okay? Because sometimes, you know, we want something better. We don't know how to get there. Then we go through the work of learning how to get there. And then getting on that path, you have to let go of who you were. Because there was a point and time that who you were served best for who you used to be.
yourself permission to let it go, to release it from your energy, to cut those cords, to remove yourself from its frequency, to say no. Sometimes you gotta say no to the people you love, your friends, your family love. Sometimes you gotta say no to the people you admire, those you look up to, those that you feel like you've helped, those that you work with. But it's time to let go of all that does not serve your highest purpose. Trust 
face yourself, you have all the answers that you'll ever need. And trusting in yourself is the key to move forward. So, a couple more moments here. Take your time, okay? No rush.
respect 
face or a different personality. Stop putting on faces for other people or other things and just get real comfy and cozy with yourself. I guarantee that you're really fun and really amazing, okay? This is an opportunity for you to be okay with moving on from your karmic past. You want to have better relationships. You want to have better money. You want to feel more fulfilled. You want to have better family relationships. Let go of the old habits in which you used to interact with these situations and embrace who you really are. Know who you really are. That's going to take a little bit more time because you get to explore yourself each and every day, learning new and fun things. Start seeing challenges and those moments of feeling uncomfortable as a good sign that you're growing because the safe bet doesn't always mean security. But following your purpose, your intuition, your life, and your passion will always mean fulfillment. Remember, there's no such thing as failure. Literally just fall forward. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and be at one with yourself. I really, really love this. I really love this sound bowl. The niceness of nails, right? Sounds good. 